Welcome to All God's People. I'm Connie Vanderman Jeffrey. I'm at the Azure Hills Church in Southeastern California, where our All God's People crew has come to record two special segments for our program. More about them both in just a minute. The 61st General Conference Session of the Seventh-day Adventist Church convenes this next week in St. Louis, Missouri. The global pandemic has delayed this important meeting by two years, forcing church leaders to adopt a hybrid approach to the meeting itself, while adjusting to a truncated schedule from the GC sessions of recent years. The meetings are being live streamed and the media links are included in our bulletin. Please join us in prayer for all those traveling to the General Conference, for the work that will be taken on by the delegates in St. Louis and gathering virtually, and for the worldwide mission of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. We will have updates from the General Conference throughout the session on the AdventistFaith.com website. June is National Men's Health Month. This month is dedicated to encouraging men and boys to focus on taking care of their bodies by eating right, exercising, and working to prevent disease. I met with Dr. Ramis Fargo of Loma Linda, California to talk about men's health. Some of the top health issues for men are cardiac disease, uh, coronary artery disease, uh, which also translates into strokes as well. Cancer is also a very important factor, as well as risky behavior and accidents. There are many things that can be done uh, by men to help uh, reduce the risk of disease. I think one of the main things is just the diet. I think uh, in my practice, I, there are a lot of patients who have struggles with obesity. Um, so diet's very important, which leads to atherosclerotic heart disease, weight gain, which has its own problems because I see sleep patients. We see a lot of patients with sleep apnea due to weight gain. And so diet is definitely a major factor. In addition, exercise is very important. It's not uh, as helpful in losing weight, but it's very useful in maintaining the weight that you lose. Sleep is very underrecognized and very important as well. It's part of the patients I take care of. We just are a very busy society, very uh, in love with our electronics, and we don't get enough sleep. It's a third of our lifetime that we're asleep. It's where our memories are stored, our uh, hormones are regulated, and our, our brain repairs itself. And uh, not having enough sleep certainly uh, impacts health in a major way. An active spiritual life, I think, is very important to men's health. Part of what we are struggling with in society is anxiety and depression, and uh, a lot of loneliness as well. And I think having a spiritual life where we feel connected to others and to God is a major part of maintaining overall health. Juneteenth is the oldest nationally celebrated commemoration of the ending of slavery in the United States. From its Galveston, Texas origin in 1865, the observance of June 19th as the African American Emancipation Day has spread across the United States and beyond. Today, Juneteenth commemorates African American freedom and emphasizes education and achievement. In 2021, Juneteenth became a federal holiday. We talked with Pastor Andrea King, the communication director of the Southeastern California Conference about the importance of Juneteenth. Well, I think Juneteenth is um, very important to both Black Americans and Seventh-day Adventists. As a part of our history as Adventists, we have historically been abolitionists, uh, and some of our forefathers have been uh, right there on the Underground Railroad, like John Byington. Uh, Juneteenth is a piece of uh, slavery and freedom history, and so I believe that it's very important to us as a church and also to uh, Black Americans because this is a time where we celebrate freedom. It is a time where our faith becomes became sight. Uh, in 1863, there was a proclamation, the Emancipation Proclamation, where slavery was declared done with, but it took two and a half years before it actually came to pass, which is why we celebrate Juneteenth. And so uh, for so many 
times in my life, there are promises that I want to see. They have been proclaimed. Um, but I remember this and say, just hold on. Your faith will be sight. And so it is just a reminder that God will uh, bring it to pass, even though you may have to cry sometimes and wait sometimes, joy comes in the morning. We want to thank Dr. Fargo and Pastor King for joining us today. We want to encourage everyone to remember our church leaders in prayer as the General Conference session convenes in St. Louis. And thank you for joining us today. We'll be back next week with more news from around the Pacific Southwest and the World Church. For all God's people, I'm Connie Jeffrey.